Okay, so here I am back from Turkey. I uh, just wanted to record a little video update uh, for those of you who were praying and just knew about it and are curious what happened in Turkey. <laughs> so it was an amazing trip. The Lord moved powerfully. He did many things. It wasn't all what the way that I was expecting Him to move, the way that I thought He should move. Or anything like that you know the Lord is he is God and he's sovereign and he does things as he wants to do them <laughs> and that's the best <laughs> that's the best uh, that that's the best you could ask for and so I was honestly expecting to get to pray for tons of people for healing to get many people to witness to preach the gospel to I was expecting a lot of opportunities like that I found when I was there that language was quite a barrier <laughs> and it was difficult to even to ask somebody hey can I pray for you because I didn't know how to say the word pray I didn't know how to you know if I got a word of knowledge I didn't know how to communicate it with them always and so anyways um, but the Lord did move uh, he, some some were healed I, I was honestly expecting tens twenties thirties forties numbers of healings there's more like under 10 <laughs> but praise God he is healer and he is powerful uh, I had various concerns I was thinking man somebody needs to get saved or healed How, what am I going to have to show of this trip and the Lord began to speak to my heart and just show me that it, it was not about anything that I could show God was doing something and I just needed to be in the center of it and I was and and sometimes it wasn't the opportunities to pray for a lot of people for them to get healed um, so we were we were able to encourage a lot of the believers in Turkey and a lot of the workers out there for Christ uh, it was awesome just the opportunity to to strengthen the body and to strengthen the workers out there uh, was a real blessing and and I realized I may never know how much of a of an impact it really had um, just just getting to to minister to them and to strengthen them and to ref and for them to receive refreshing uh so it was it was very great um the first part of the trip we were uh in the eastern no in the western side of turkey uh doing 122 hours of prayer and worship just helping out i wasn't there the whole 122 hours but we were uh helping participating in it um there we got to meet a lot of workers for christ and and just be a strength to them um also we went to another city in the east there we got to minister to to different people one group uh they were they were deaf and so we got to teach them on prayer and on hearing the voice of god it was very powerful uh, when i when i had the opportunity to share some things i had learned some of the signs by seeing them speaking to one another and so sometimes I even said whole phrases and whole sentences in their own sign so I didn't need it to be interpreted it was pretty fun <laughs> just to see God working that way and, and giving me the ability to pick it up so quickly um, the Lord gave many words of knowledge one time a cool story I this was still in the, in the western side of Turkey I was talking with a couple and we were sharing the gospel with them I was sharing testimonies of healing of what the Lord has done here in the States uh, on the streets in the malls wherever and I was sharing those testimonies and how God likes to speak and what you know what Jesus did as he walked on the earth what he does through many believers and he desires to do I believe through all believers he said those who believe will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover so I was telling them some of these testimonies and these stories and finally I turn around and I say hey do either of you have pain in your hip? And um, they did. One of them did. And so they were shocked and they were amazed. And it was great because we had been witnessing, preaching the gospel, talking about the testimonies, and now they got to experience it for themselves. They, they were not willing to let us pray for them at that moment. The next day I got to pray for them. It was great. Um, they were not able to tell a difference because they didn't have pain. But it was a great witness to another great story is that we were... Uh, we went into a mosque and we started praying to Jesus Christ for God to reveal Himself to those uh, who would go into that mosque. 
that as they come seeking for God, they would encounter the true and living God, Jesus Christ. And as we were in there praying, Ronette, who, who coordinated the group, who led the group, um, she, she ends up getting uh, a song in her heart, and she sings it quietly. It's, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord is one. She's thinking to herself, why am I getting this in the mosque? But she was obedient to the Lord and she sang it. Sure enough, we walk out of the mosque and we started witnessing to a man. We got to pray for him. It turns out he was Jewish. And so Ronette, the Lord had led her to intercede for this man. And she began to intercede for him. And now we had the opportunity to, to pray for him, to, to witness and preach the gospel. And, and even Israel was receiving the gospel there in Turkey. It's amazing. And so the Lord moved powerfully. Some others were healed. One girl's headache was gone. Another girl, she had some pain in her neck, some problems with her muscles, and she felt a very strong heat come over it. Uh, there was a man that went attended a church out there, but he was Muslim and he didn't believe in Jesus. He just went with his wife who was from Romania, and he had a real encounter with the Lord. And one of the church meetings, I got to pray for him. And you could see that the Lord was moving on his heart. He conf he, we found out later that he actually did not want to leave the service. Whereas normally he doesn't want to have anything to do with it, but just tolerates it. Now he was actually enjoying it and receiving from the Lord. So it was powerful experiences. The Lord moved powerfully. And that's the update for now. <laughs> I, will, I will type up more things and, and just give a more detailed account later on. But... But here's for the moment. All right, well, blessings.